looking forward to it now. We haven't met Cork this year. We usually meet them some stage in the league and kind of have seen each other. So it's our first time seeing each other this year and things are, I presume, a lot different in their camp, but they're definitely a lot different than ours. Uh, it's going to be a very tough game. The last few years against Clare have always been very tight games and I assume tomorrow will be no different. You know, Both teams have been doing very well. Clare had to go through playoffs as well to get to this stage. So, you know, they have the extra matches behind them. We've kind of been sitting around waiting to play for the last few weeks. Um, so I know the girls are very focused for the job in hand, you know, and hopefully we'll come out on the right side of it. Who's done well for you so far in the league? Who would you pick out from your own team? From my own team? Um, Moira McGrath in full back is always doing well there. Um, Deirdre Murphy is still flying it in the forwards and Nikki Kaiser is a new one in. That's She's our main scorer at the moment. So they're the three I'd say that are doing really, really well. And what's the feeling? What's the hunger like to reach a league final? Well, like we've never been there before. We've never been in Division 1 league final or division one anything any final at the moment apart from the Munster one um so like to get there would be like a dream come true especially for the likes of Deirdre Murphy who's been around a while and has never got there like that Munster final win was the best thing ever and just to be on top again would be great like that's exactly what we want to do we set out a target at the start of the year that's where we want to be and we're one step closer to there so hopefully we can do it so this time of the year the national league it means a lot to you of course you've won the last two yeah, we've always placed an emphasis on the league. You know, it sets you up nicely for championship and you can't beat competitive games. So the longer you're in the league, the better. And with the Division 2 team as well playing in the final, you know, we're really looking forward to hopefully having two teams in, in the finals for the first time in a long while. So that would be a motivation? Oh, definitely. At the start of the year, that was the goal, to get both teams into the finals. The Division 2 team weren't there since 2007. You know, we haven't won it in, since 2005. And the Division 1 team, obviously, like you said, have had two in a row. But we're, we're building a panel now, you know, and both squads turn together. So we're looking forward to hopefully meet. First goal met, hopefully by next weekend. I wouldn't like to, to, to call it, although Cork are going for their three in a row, so they probably will go in as favourites. But Clare were very strong last year, and Clare, Clare were kind of unfortunate last year in some of their games. Very close games, and came across a Kilkenny team who took them out in the end, who went on to be in the All Ireland final, contest the All Ireland final. I think that'll be a very close game. I'd say Cork you probably have the edge because they have the experience, but Clare are very determined now, and after last year, the experience they gained from that, I'd say they, they might pip them. You know, you wouldn't know, but I'd say Cork probably would win as favourites, but I'd say it'll be a great game. Um, clear, clear flying this year. Um, so yeah, I think it'll be a clear Kilkenny final, definitely in Division One. Even though Cork are going for a three in a row of league finals. Mm, yeah, but Clare have got all the momentum going now. They're going strong. They're fighting for places. They have, they have a serious panel this year. Um, maybe other years it was probably only like they had, they had like 15, 16, 17 but now this year they have a serious panel. Um, so I think yeah, it'll be Kilkenny and Clare final.